Hey guys, John Eric here. I want to show off a new skinny brick we just made for a client. This is a gift for his son. His name is Sky. This one came out very, very nice. Uh, I've got a couple skinny bricks here. I've got some 25Ks, a 25K, and a 50K. It's a little bit deeper than the other ones. This one's bolted together, so I can't show you the inside. I'm just going to pop this thing apart real quick and show the client how to take it apart. It's a pretty simple operation. But we did a uh, mirror finish on it. There's my shirt. And here's a pile of funny money. Just so you can check out the finish. There's With these mirror bricks, it's hard because all you can see is the background. So I'm going to show you how this works. We'll do it this way. We made him some pretty awesome bolts too. I'll show you those in a second. these gloves on it's very hard to get a hold of the bolts so I'm just gonna pick it up like this so this one holds 25,000 in US currency and this one also has a little cutout if you'd like to add a couple gift cards, a spare driver's license, or some credit cards, you could put those here in the bottom as well. This one has a crosshatch pattern on uh, all sides, including the bottom. And of course, our logo there. Looks nice. There's not a lot to talk about with this one. Which it fits. Uh, this is funny money. This is not US currency, but it is the same size. So there's 10, 20. Actually, looks like you could squeeze 30,000 in there. Yeah, you can. So that's great, that's a little bonus. You wanna line up where it says the brick with the brick here. Put the lid on. There's little alignment uh, rings inside. Turn it over. Take your beautiful bolts, which we just made. Came out really nice. Drop all your bolts in. This is a hell of a gift box. As a little bonus, I cut the bottom a little bit deeper in this one so we can hold more than 25,000. Or if you've got, dude, in the middle of my video, you didn't know I'm making a video? That's why I didn't say anything. You could have just looked at me and acknowledged me and I could have kept going and been quiet. Okay, we're gonna start over. Have a good weekend. So I just got sidetracked. One of my employees just came in to say goodbye to me, knowing I'm making a video about whatever. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, is I cut this one a hair deeper uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, if you don't have money fresh from the bank, it's not going to be flat like this. It's going to be a lot thicker because of all the wrinkles in it. Um, that makes it much easier to load, especially when it's an auto mount. When we're doing the, uh, you know bundles of 10,000 at a time, it's easy. You just, you know, Put a wrapper on them and forget about it but when you have an odd amount like twenty five thousand, um you can put uh i think they do make smaller wrappers or you can make your own wrappers it doesn't matter but the moral of the story is this is a very cool gift box for a client uh met on youtube and uh he wanted something for his son's uh housewarming gift i think he's getting his first house so this is just a little short video um i do have a couple of the bricks here i want to show you guys uh this is the same thing but this one is, uh, obviously it's got the Ford logo on it. This is for another customer. I've not delivered this yet. And then I think we have an interesting pattern. My designer came up with this. I'm not sure if I'm in love with it or not. I like it, but I don't know if I love it. Let me know what you guys think. Is this a cool pattern for Louis Vuitton or not? Uh, this is not their standard pattern at all. And this was also done with diamonds on the sides and of course diamonds on the inside of the lid as well. So if you guys like it, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. And then I have a customer. Apparently, he's got an old... Whoop, there, he just hit my camera. Apparently, he's got uh, a collection of Peugeots, which if you've ever even heard of that car, let me know. I would say most people under 40 have probably never even heard of a Peugeot. I'm not even sure if they're still in business now, but I just want to show this one to you guys real quick. And then a bigger one here. 
it's just a little bit thicker, but this one holds 50,000, so it's quite a bit thicker. And this is plain in the sense that it's just a uh, polished cross hatch pattern. So that's a couple of bricks we got to ship out. I like to show them all off before I ship them so that I have some record that I even made the thing. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe if you like the content, if you like seeing neat stuff. If you guys have any ideas to make stuff, I'm happy to make whatever you want. Um, if you give me a very unique idea that I end up making and it doesn't cost me a fortune to make it, I might just make you one and give it to you for free. Take care, but God bless. Peace out.